Gravity Rush's physics-defying gameplay attracted a following when it arrived on Vita in 2012. And now it's found a second wind on PlayStation 4 in a remastered version that both looks and plays better than the original. Gravity Rush offers an intriguing lead character, Cat, who can manipulate gravity at will. This power allows her to float, walk on ceilings, carry heavy objects, and fall in any direction, almost as if she can fly. You take control of her after she wakes up with amnesia in the whimsical city of Hexville, which was torn apart by a gravitational disturbance, separating neighborhoods from one another, and introducing alien-like enemies known as Nevi. Cat and a likable cast of non-playable characters keep you firmly engaged in Hexville's current events. Where a reasonable person may succumb to confusion, Cat finds her footing quickly, realizing that she can use her powers to help those in need, happily slipping on the guise of a superhero. She earns a reputation around town, and is eventually called away from small acts of kindness to tend to Hexville's grander problems. Cat keeps a positive demeanor, but she's also quick to acknowledge when people are being greedy, odd, or otherwise abnormal, which helps to flesh out her personality. Cat's abilities undoubtedly carry Gravity Rush. They're easy to execute, but difficult to master. Tap a button to free yourself from gravity, aim the camera, and hit the same button again to direct gravity and send Cat forward. She can remain in a state of gravitational flux as long as her power meter lasts, but by exploring the world and collecting gems, she can cash in and upgrade numerous aspects of her skill set. Though you start as an awkward superhero with limited abilities, your powers grow and become second nature by the end of the game. Gravity Rush is filled with captivating sights, and it bears a charming aesthetic that faintly resembles Hayao Miyazaki's illustrative style. You don't spend a lot of time on the ground, an effect of falling in love with Cat's aerial exploits, but you do get to experience Hexville's ornate structures from on high, clipping its tallest buildings, walking upside down on the floating city's underbelly, and gawking at dreamy silhouettes against the city's orange, green, and blue skies. These views are better now than before, with the remastering process adding new geometry and sharper textures, as well as increasing the resolution to 1080p and the frame rate to 60 frames per second. Tumbling through the air and witnessing the world around you are persistent joys, and it helps that you venture to otherworldly dimensions from time to time, each offering their own wonders. But the missions you undertake, be they story missions or optional challenge missions, fail to trigger excitement. You regularly have to navigate to specific points in Hexville to obtain an item or fight a group of enemies, and that's about it. Early combat in Gravity Rush kicks off on the ground, where Cat can combo into enemies with a series of kicks, and evade incoming attacks with a quick burst of speed. You quickly realize, however, that you are more effective when attacking from mid-air, dive-kicking into enemies. Unfortunately, enemies big and small are taken down with the exact same strategy. Point your reticle at an enemy's glowing white spot and trigger your dive kick. You have access to a few special attacks that are tied to a cooldown meter, but these just help you get the job done faster, offering little in the way of newfound satisfaction during combat. When you're enraptured with Gravity Rush's mechanics, world, and characters, time flies by. Because of this, it's a bit of a letdown when the game ends and the story that guided you along a path filled with new, wondrous opportunities comes to a screeching halt without a clear resolution. As we now know, Gravity Rush 2 is in production and will continue the tale told here, but that fact doesn't make up for the unsatisfactory ending. Gravity Rush comes off as formulaic at times, but it's also a wonderful joyride that's been enhanced by a generous remastering effort that makes it feel right at home on PlayStation 4. It's an adventure worth taking, not just because there's hardly anything like it, but because it gleefully frees you from the hold of gravity in a world worth exploring.